gather this day for our soul's hunger for home. But what happens when that location no longer exists? My family's hometown of Quince Orchard doesn't appear on the map anymore. Quince Orchard is just a drive-through country town. We were a close-knit community. People knew each other. They looked out for each other's children. I started to hear all of these stories about fellowshipping with neighbors and friends, worshipping at church. And I started to forget that these folks were living in a segregated society. It was very difficult to explain that you could have playmates. But when it came time to go to school, you went to your segregated school. It made me feel that I wasn't equal. This small rural community had three Methodist churches, one black, two white, divided generations earlier over the issue of slavery. We did not talk about slavery. I think it was too hard to talk about. Read that document and tell us what it is. It's this record of slaves in Montgomery County. Wow. Wow. Dr. King was shot and fatally wounded. In 1968, while riots erupted and cities burned, these three small churches decided to merge. Those three churches, two white and black, decided to reconcile and to forge a new future. Did you want the merger to happen? I went for it. We accepted anybody that joined, regardless of race, color, or creed. They wanted it to happen. Oh my goodness. There's something about erasing things in the landscape that erases it from your memory. There's an important story that needs to be told, and we have a responsibility to make certain that it continues. It's your blood, son. It reminds me where I come from and where I'm headed. <laughs>